Uh, the aftermath is uh, clear to see behind us. Protesters last night wound up uh, painting the uh, area in front of and actually on the entrance to the DA's office. Uh, some members of that group also uh, smashed a couple of windows. Meanwhile, Salt Lake City police say they made two arrests and that one of their officers was injured uh, by all of this and uh, he had to actually be taken to a local hospital. Now, as a result of all that, Governor Herbert declaring a state of emergency and in that declaration, Governor Herbert cites civil unrest resulting in bodily injury and destruction of private and public property. Utah State Capitol grounds are now closed to the public until July 14th. The governor goes on to say that uh, they've also offered Utah's Department of Public Safety to Salt Lake City. But through all of this, both police and protesters agree change needs to happen and different approach needs to be used. <clears throat> we can make change, but it doesn't occur by actions like this. We need to sit down together and talk about what we want to change and then do it thoughtfully uh, with consideration, with both sides talking. Uh, that's where we're going to affect change here in the city. Now, some change has already occurred since these protests began uh, over a month ago. Uh, the governor uh, has signed a bill uh, that bans police from using chokehold restraints on individuals. So. Uh, yeah, an ongoing situation. Uh, sure, this is not the last uh, we've uh, seen and heard of all of this, but uh, uh, definitely uh, a cleanup will be underway here at the DA's office today. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.